Instagram, I finally got my hands on AMD's Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. Here it is. I just got the shipment today from Newegg and we will install this together and I will let you know exactly how I think of it. If you look closely, it uses the similar uh, heat spread design as the original Zen 4 processor, the 7950X. I will compare both processors together as I will make a separate video on it. But this video will be just based on a unboxing and a review of the 7950X 3D processor. Right before I open this and you plan to install it, you just need some basic tools. Make sure that you have a motherboard that is compatible with AMD's Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. So we're gonna open this up. I'll hold that box there and there it is. Beautiful little process. It's very similar to how all the other Zen 4 processors are. It does have the kind of weird spacing in between it, but that's designed to give better uh, heat dissipation because of that. Processor is only 120 watts compared to 170 watts. And be extremely careful when you're handling this processor, even though it doesn't have the same pin design. And as you see the back of it, nothing too significant. It's very similar to all the other Zen 4 processors. Indication that you're part of Team Red with a QR code. And it's pretty amazing how quick this processor sold out, especially that other X3D processors have been released besides the 7900 X3D and the 7950 X3D. Now this processor is not, not gonna be for everybody and I'll explain why later on, but I do have to give you the basic tools or a basic idea of what type of tools that you will need before you do install this brand new processor. Some thermal paste, which is super, super important. As you can see, I got this big tube of Arctic silver. I also have isopropyl alcohol, which is good to wipe the processor clean. You're gonna wanna use something that is lint-free, such as a lint-free microfiber and make sure it is clean and free of lint and dirt. So this is perfect for that usage. What I always recommend is some nice soft coffee filters. This is really good just in case if you got to wipe off any excess grease or a thermal paste, a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to just need a Phillips head screwdriver right here. Right before you get started to install your AMD Ryzen 7950X 3D or any new 3D processor, you want to make sure you upgrade your BIOS, especially if you built your PC when Zen 4 was released. More than likely the motherboard that you purchased with your X3D processor, you're probably gonna have to upgrade the BIOS. And to make sure that, make sure you go to support of your BIOS page, regardless if it's ASUS, just like how mine is the ROG Crosshair X670E Hero. I have to go down to driver and tools, go into BIOS and firmware, go to ROG Crosshair X670E Hero, and it will tell you that this is for the brand new Ryzen processors, or I should say the brand new Ryzen X 3D processors. Make sure to download this BIOS flash, open the folder, and make sure you extract it somewhere where you'll remember it. So I'm gonna put it here into my C drive. I put it under BIOS. Make sure it's nice and clean, extract, and I'm going to replace everything in that destination here. Delete this old file, where hopefully your uh, folder is more blank than mine's was. And you're just gonna use this BIOS renamer tool, and that will just simply just rename your file, so that way you're able to flash it in your PC. You wanna make sure you plug in your USB drive, once it's plugged in, you can see that it was used for something else here. So we're just gonna format it. Go here, we're gonna right click it, and we're gonna format it. We're gonna do a quick format. We'll call this ASUS BIOS, so we know exactly what it's for. Make sure it is FAT32, that is important, okay. Make sure you cut this out. 
carry it over and paste it right into your USB drive. Now it is ready to be flashed into the BIOS. So we're gonna restart the PC, we're gonna enter the BIOS and flash the new firmware. Once we get into the BIOS here, it should just look like this main screen and you wanna go over to the tool side for ASUS specifically, ASUS Easy Flash, and then you're gonna go into the drive where you have your new BIOS and click yes. That is the new update, make sure it is correct. The PC might reboot a couple of times and just don't touch the PC, just let it complete its firmware update. Okay, now it is completely done. You're just gonna run the, the basic setup and we're gonna keep all the default settings. Now we know the BIOS is up to date. Now all we have to do is shut down the PC and get ready to install the brand new Ryzen 7950X 3D processor. Just make sure you disconnect your PC completely and make sure that you shut off your power supply, which is important. Just make sure to uninstall these side panel screws or cover so that way you can pull off your side panel safely. So the next step, we just got to remove the old cooler screws. Now that's completely cleared. See how this heat spreader looks underneath. So just make sure you grab some alcohol, wipe that off. And you can see how nice and clean that looks afterwards. So just make sure to lift it up carefully. Push in and out, I'll lift up the processor. You make sure you wanna wipe this off because you don't wanna get all the thermal paste stuck on it. And now you can see the arrow up here on the top. We're gonna to drop it in exactly as so. And when you drop it in, you just wanna make sure you set it directly into the grooves itself. Close it up. Make sure you put the pressure, make sure that lip gets covered on top of it. And then apply the pressure as so. And you're good to go. Now we have to reapply the thermal paste. All you have to do is put a pea size on there. That is plenty. Looks like it's nice and clean and we could simply just reassemble it together. As you can see, it says new CPU installed, MV corrupted or FT structure change. Click yes to reset the FTPM, which we will do and encryption is enabled. So that's what we will do. The CPU is recognized. It says AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. The 16 core processor is enabled. You can also set up the PBO and everything if you want to, which I will have because the processor that I originally had, I had it set to PBO during a benchmark test. So that is what we will do. And now it's time we do some benching and see exactly how this AMD 7950X3D performs.
So what makes the AMD Ryzen 7950X 3D so exciting? And let me tell you why. It is built for gamers. It has the extra V cache in there to help your frame rates. It has up to a whopping 128 megabytes of extra L3 cache. And then it has a 16 megabytes of L2 cache and one megabyte of L1 cache. It also has a standard clock of 4.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 5.7 gigahertz. Its TDP is up to 120 watts compared to its predecessor, which was 170 watts. Why may this processor not be for everybody? Well, let's go over some facts over this processor as we saw from the benchmarks. Otherwise, it gets about 53 to 55 degrees Celsius. And when you're browsing the internet, the highest I've seen it go up to was about 59 degrees Celsius. Now, when you're doing any type of gaming, it gets around about 80 degrees Celsius. On average, the highest I've seen it was 89 degrees Celsius, which is normal operating temperature for this processor. It is excellent when it is holding frame rates. I've seen about an improvement about 40 to 50 frames per second when it comes to gaming. It is amazing compared to the Intel i9-13900K, but is it really that much better? And you're also paying a much more higher premium of $699.99 USD for this processor. Now, if you are a gamer, this may not really be for you. And you're probably asking why, because you've seen such great performance out this processor. Well, let me explain. It has a 3D V cache of 128 megabytes, which is great, which I explained earlier. It has an extra layer on one CCX. The other CCX is bare, and it's meant to work for standard applications. So that way it is more of a hybrid processor. So if you're guessing correctly, yes, this is more for a hybrid user, such as a content creator, a graphic designer, or if you're a software engineer, this is great for those type of applications. If you like to use Adobe and you also like to game. So practically, if you like to work and play, but if you are a straight gamer, this may not be really beneficial to you. You may actually get better performance when the 7800X3D does get released. And I'm not gonna say that everything's gonna be better. Not every game's gonna be better on the 7800X3D. Sure, you may have some slight differences between the 7950X3D, but overall you will get much more better performance gaming-wise when it comes to the 7800X3D because it will use only one CCX, which will only need one layer of VCash, so you have the full performance when it comes to gaming on that processor. Sure, you can set it only to VCache once you go into the BIOS, but then again, what is the point of having a 7950X3D if you are doing that? Now, again, this is great for hybrid users in my opinion, then it is worth the $699.99 USD. Now, if you are a gamer, it is much better to probably aim for the 7800X3D and you will pay much more of a cheaper price, which is estimated to be 449 usd when that does get released now what if you are using it for workloads this is only great the 7950x3d if you work and play so if you are that type of person who uses their pc for work and play this is going to be great for you in that sense now for somebody like me i would love a processor like this this is a great processor for me because if you are a streamer or a content creator, or if you are a videographer or a photographer, and you also like to game on your PC, this is the processor for you. It is great. It holds frame rates excellent. It is an amazing performer, especially for the wattage it uses. It's only 120 watts, and then yet you're getting some great frame rates when it comes to gaming. And it works great when it comes into such applications such as Photoshop. Hopefully you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is looking for a 7950X3D, make sure you share this video with them. And if you're not part of the big wonderful fan man, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell 
for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fam, fam guys, what are your thoughts on the 7950X3D? Is it something that you want to purchase? And let me know why. Thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.